Welcome, Toy Fans, to another Third Earth Reviews. Remember this, where I take an in-depth look at some of our favorite 80s and 90s toys. And today, I will be talking about Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright was created by Hallmark in 1983 and was one of their first licenses that created characters targeted towards children. These characters included Rainbow Bright, Twink, Starlight, the seven color kits, which had each kid representing an individual color, their personal sprites, the main villains, Murky Dismal and Lurky, among several others. As an interesting side note, originally the color kits were all girls, but later on it was decided that two of the characters would be changed to boys. So Scarlet Rose became Red Butler and Blue Moon became Buddy Blue. Working with several other large companies such as Mattel, Deke, and Disney, Rainbow Bright became one of the fastest growing franchises in the mid-1980s. While the Mattel toy line started in 1984, by 1985 it was Mattel's hottest selling toy and had an advertising and marketing budget in the millions. Rainbow Bright released a 13-episode cartoon series starting June 27, 1984 and ending on July 24, 1986, with a one-year gap between episode 5 and 6, which the movie Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealer was released in 1985 by Warner Brothers. There's been no official release of the cartoon series on DVD, and the movie is currently out of print. Although the film was criticized by critics as being a giant toy ad, the fans of Rainbow Bright love the movie and the new characters introduced, such as Stormy and Tickle Pink. There were also a few live-action programs. One was intended for children's birthday parties, and the other was held at San Diego Zoo. During the height of its popularity, Rainbow Bright had merchandise in several different countries, including the United States, the UK, Spain, Mexico, Italy, Germany, and Canada. However, not all countries received the same merchandise. For example, Italy and Spain did not receive some of the later dolls, such as Lala Orange or Buddy Blue, while other countries, such as Germany, received exclusive items, such as the audio tapes, comics, and the doll of Moonglow. Some of the most popular items were the dolls released by Mattel from 1984 to 1987. These dolls ranged in size from small to large and included not only Rainbow Bright and the color kits, but animals, sprites, villains, and both boxed and carded figures. However, since some of these dolls or sets were very expensive for their time, Mattel later created the Emotion Line, which was a lower cost doll that came loose instead of a box packaging. This toy line was much smaller than the original Mattel toy line, which had over 100 different dolls and figures. While these dolls are not as stiff as other plushies from this decade, such as the Care Bears or the Wuzzles, they have held up very well for their age and are a fantastic representation of the original cartoon characters. Other products included school and party supplies, storybooks and activity books, puzzles, jewelry, figures, games, records, bedding and clothes, just to name a few. However, out of all of these items, the puzzles and the books are my favorite. Both of these items are great for kids, they are very colorful and have some great images of the characters, while the books are entertaining stories that build upon the world of Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright is still loved by many and has had several reboots over the years, including in 1996, 2003, 2009, 2014, and the most recent in 2015. For anyone who is looking for some new Rainbow Bright merchandise, Hallmark is currently selling several items, including books and dolls, so I would highly recommend checking out their website or a local store. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. And if you have any 80s or 90s toys you would like me to check out, please let me know in the comments below. So until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.